Hey there Fallon, it's Amy. Here's the video we spoke of. I'm a local business owner just like yourself and know that COVID's really hurt some businesses, so I just wanted to give back and show you what you can do in order to get more customers through your door. So I'm going to jump in and start going through what I see and where I think you can get the most value. I'm pretty much going to explain to you three things that you can do today to really bring value to your company and start out ranking your competitors online, okay? The very first thing I want to go over is your website and what we call content. So when someone searches for air duct cleaning, Kansas City, Missouri, Google crawls websites on the internet searching and ranking the sites. It's looking for keywords. It's looking for what should this site be found for. So when I go through here, I see you have some nice photos on your site and a beautiful layout. I see a little bit of content, but not a whole lot of content. And one thing I can tell you about Google is Google loves content. So Google likes to see a minimum of 1,500 words on your front page. And we're looking at right now with your site, we're probably sitting at about 350 words on this page. So adding 1,100 words of content with the keywords that you're trying to target is going to help you get found for those keywords. And we'll talk a little bit more about keywords here in a second. But not only does Google just look at your site, but when Google comes into your site, they can't tell what they should be ranking you for if you don't have any keyword specific things on here. So what does that mean? Well, let's look at your competitor. So when I looked up Air Duct Cleaning Kansas City, Missouri, these guys came up and when we start scrolling through their website, we see content here, pictures, and they have about 650 words on here. Very beatable in terms of content. So what does all this mean? Well, this is a tool I use called a refs. It allows me to see every keyword you're ranking for, how much traffic you get into your site. We can see here that you're getting found for 14 keywords and you're getting three people a month to your website. So when we jump in here, see here's your URL right there. Now we're going to jump over to your competitors. There they are. Okay, they're getting found for 79 keywords, right? and they're getting 65 people a month to their website. And when we go in here and we look at some keywords, we can see, let's see here, Duck Cleaning Kansas City, 100 clicks a month on that one. They're sitting on the front page of Google on there. Uh, Air Duck City, no, wait, Air Duck Cleaning Kansas City, that's the same one. Oh, here's one, Air Duck Cleaning Kansas City, Missouri, 50 clicks a month, they're also sitting on the first page of Google for that one. So just with those two keywords alone, that's 150 clicks a month that you're not getting, okay? So when we go in and we look at keywords, we find that information out. Now, once we do the first thing of getting the right content on your site and getting the right keywords on your site, the next thing is to go and find what we call backlinks, okay? So what are backlinks? Backlinks are pretty much, let's say another air duct cleaning site from Kansas City, Independence, or even Florida. It just needs to be in your kind of field, air duct cleaning. Linking back to your site, saying that you're the most popular one here. So the way that Google works, it's like a popularity contest back in high school, right? The more sites we get linking into your site, the more popular it tells Google you are, and the more they want to rank you for these keywords. So we need to go out and we look at your competitors here. We see that they have 28 referring domains linking back to their site. So we have to beat it and not all backlinks are created equal. So getting a link from Starbucks, say, linking to you is not going to be as powerful as a general contractor or something like that linking back to you to tell Google you're relevant, you're in the right niche, and you're popular. That's what we want to go after, okay? So we have about 28 referring domains. Now we don't want to get the same amount as them when it comes to links. We want to beat them by at least 20 or 30 links to really start beating out the competition, to outrank them and to take that traffic. And then last but not least, I want to talk to you about the third thing we need to go get. And that's what we call citations. Now I'm sure you've heard of the map pack before. All right. So this is it, and below the map pack is called organic. Now I looked back 11 pages and I did not find Enviro duct, air duct cleaning, nowhere. I found that y'all were nowhere to be found. So to get to organic, we got to get your keywords up. We've got to get all the links coming into your site. And then to get up here in this map pack right here, we have to go after what we call citations, and a citation is your name, address, and phone number throughout the web on as many directories as possible. And a directory is like Yelp, Yext, CityStar, all those directories that are out there, we want to get your business listed on them. It tells Google that you're legit. So we go over here to another 
resource I use, and it's called whitespark.ca. I did a report, and I found the top listing on MapPack. He has 12 citations, and here's you right here. You are you already beaten him, so you have 16. My recommendation, go out and triple that amount, okay? So when you go in here to the map pack and you click on more businesses, let's see if it'll come down. Okay, here we go. Here you are. You're number four. So the goal is to be right here in this top three, okay? That position. The top three positions get 80% more clicks. So you are so very close to that. So once again, we went over content. We got to get the content on your site. You've got a beautiful looking site, but we got to get the keyword relevant content. And then once we have that, we want to go after these backlinks, right? We need to get your backlinks up to start driving traffic to where you're getting 65 people a month to your site. And then once we have that, we want to turn around and we want to go after these citations. So those are the three things that I think if implemented today, it's really going to get you found on Google and drive more customers to your business. I've only shown you one competitor and one keyword search. There are dozens of buyer intent keywords for the air duct industry that we could capture the traffic of hundreds of clicks per month that you aren't getting. All right, Fallon, thank you for taking the time to listen to me today. Like I said earlier, my name is Amy, and if you like what you've seen here today and you want to chat, you can reach me at lodestarseo.com or just call or shoot me a text back. Thanks so much, and you have a great day.